Yeah, let's directly jump into it. So what we are about to do is the following. We access transaction code ME21N. This would be to create a normal purchase order. So with the standard purchase order type, which is NB, and let me just import a supplier over here. And yeah, what we would normally do is then fill the header details first. Let me just do it like that. And afterwards, you can see we could insert the line items. So what we are about to do is the following. We want to purchase a material or a service, alternatively, without a material master. We have a non-stock direct consumption procurement, so meaning that we won't store the actual material and no master record exists for this material. Or we purchase a service for which no master record exists. Therefore, we would utilize a combination of short text, material group, and account assignment category. Let me actually do this. Account assignment category will be K for cost center. Then we have the short text, like service, for instance, or material without material master. Quantity one, let's say, the order unit would be pieces and the net price 100. We also must insert now um, material group. Let me just default this, but we will create one ourselves and a plant. Despite entering storage location, okay, it will say that over here we would need a GL account assignment. And this is what we will configure that based on the material group you see over here, the GL account is derived automatically. Let's actually do this now from scratch. We will start with creating a new material group. Therefore, I navigate to the transaction code slash N O M S F. That's O M S F. You can see that a bunch of materials exist in my system. But what we do right now is we click on new entries. Material group. This is an alphanumeric key. And let me just say test 12, for instance, description test met group and then we have here the description too and you can see authorization group and default unit this is not important as of now so basically this is already sufficient so an alphanumeric key and a description and save this this is the first step now the second step we navigate to transaction code slash n omsk and over here we can define a new so-called valuation class over here. A valuation class is nothing else than the linkage between the materials management and the financial world of SAP, so to say. So for us, we click on new entries and then provide a key for this valuation class. Let me say 9765, something like that. So four digit key and a description test automatic account determination. The account category reference you see over here is not important for materials without a material master. So when we are utilizing the material group to derive the GL account, we do not need to fill anything over here. So we press save again. Then what we need to do is we need to assign the created valuation class, this one over here, to our created material group to link them. And therefore, we navigate to the transaction code slash n s underscore a l r underscore eight seven zero zero two two one four. Here you can see our material group, which is test twelve, and assign the valuation class seven and nine seven six five. And afterwards, save this as well. Furthermore, we have to check in transaction code NOME9, that's OME9, for the cost center. In that case, we need to check that the account modification is set to VBR. Otherwise, we will have issues. And last but not least, we go to the transaction code slash NOBYC, that's OBYC. And what we do over here is that we basically now need to state the GL account that is linked to the valuation class to derive from the material group this particular GL account. Because as you know, 
By now, we linked the material group we created to the valuation class. And within the valuation class, we will state the GL account that should be derived. So how do we do this? We need to go to the transaction over here called GBB. As you can see, offsetting entry for inventory posting. Double click on this one, insert your chart of accounts, press go. Now all we need to do is scroll down for the general modification indicator VBR, normal valuation method, and then here um, just copy one of those entries as follows. Click on copy. And now I will only adjust the valuation class to the valuation class that we actually created before. Like that. And then save our entry. And by the way, this debit and credit account is for sure an expense account for consumption, as here we won't store any goods um, in our inventory. Save this. And now we are good to go with the testing. So therefore we jump into the transaction code slash n me21n to create a new purchase order and see how the jail account is being derived. I'll just insert here normal values. So purchase or group company code and the supplier. Then we say account assignment category K. We don't have a material. We have a short text, DPO quality, unit, net price and then over here importantly our new material group that we created and the plant assignment is always necessary when i now hit enter please focus on this area over here as you will see the gel account will be derived and as you can see the gel account we assigned to the valuation class which is itself linked to the material group has been derived successfully